been around IGL for a really long time, so it's fun that they're getting a, getting a chance to uh, to play here for for everybody. And the very first, they're making history here. They they certainly are, and uh, I really can't wait to see who comes out on top. This is a best of five series. Killer Queen Black is actually a bit confusing in that regard because you're actually playing best of five best of three mm -hmm. games because that's just the way that Killer Queen Black is structured. And if you're a little bit confused, pay attention here and you'll see how that works. But we are off and running and we see a couple of attempted upgrades, some gate guarding coming out of Blue Team and Ryukushin trying to recover from that. Old Man Joe has upgraded into the night. That's certainly gonna help. They're even on economy. And we see Skuma try to move that snail, but a great block by Zingor, as now Zingor goes back to defending uh, Skuma's economy, trying to keep those out of there. We do see Gornash, who has upgraded into the Mace uh, Warrior, and trying to keep that berry from coming going in, and he does successfully. Pretty even matchup so far. We do see a pretty big push on snail by Skuma. They're living up to their name here, the Skuma Snail Gang, but they are pretty well behind an Econ and at a disadvantage from a military perspective until they pick up that queen kill. Shout out to No Named Gaming, uh, that's Sparky, one of our community casters for the Prime sub. Appreciate that very much. And there's a lot of action around the snail here. Bodies flying everywhere. Zingor down to his last life. Reacution goes down there as well. This one's close, but local sports team only needs one berry. That queen kill may open it up. We see Wingman and Best Girl ever going to block it, but nobody gets drunk cookies, and he bops his way on in there to get the economic victory here in game one. Shout out to Peanut Phobia for the host. Really appreciate that. Appreciate you tuning in here tonight uh, for the very first game of the Winter Circuit. Uh, these two teams playing in tier three. We do have three uh, three different rank levels here in the Killer Queen Black Winter Circuit. Um, and these guys playing in our tier three, and right off the bat, Zingor coming in with a vengeance here, uh, making sure to making sure to put his team at an advantage there to start. Big hit by Ryukushin, taken down. Zingor and we are tied up as far as military is concerned economy Also a little bit tied up. Maybe a uh, Can't count the berries fast enough, but it looks pretty tied across the board Hexa does jump on the snail starts to move that Ryukushin providing some cover as old man Joe and Zingor look to mess that up And they do stop the snail movement and wow the economy is going fast for blue time blue team only three left and only three left for skuma as well lst versus skuma this is a close one fight to the finish two economy left skuma trying to move the snail that's gonna push zingor and bring him away from uh guarding the nest but we do see old man joe with the mace that is an effective edge guard uh upgrade there so that's gonna be tough for Skuma to try to get past that as we see LST throwing those berries in, trying to get those launched, and they do. Gornash gets one in, one economy left. That's it, that's all they need, and Skuma, there it is, Drunk Cookies puts it in. They get the, mil they get the econo yeah, economic victory. Congrats to them, they take two games in this first match. Yeah, two games in the first series here, so they are up two to zero. Remember, this is a best of three series right so we're playing five games in this one particular series here but then it will be a uh, a best of three series so skuma gonna need to try to bounce back a little bit here as so we're picking up a little bit of lag i think we're gonna have to put in the rules that drunk cookies isn't allowed to stream uh killer queen black games anymore from his from his discord accounts that seems like it's stabilized a bit though i just like giving him a hard time here it does look like it's recovered a little bit Economy going strong for LST. They won on that last game. We'll see if they can do that again, but Skuma might be a little bit more protective this time. Ryukushin gets a takedown on LST's Queen Zingor. Now looking to recover. Literally best girl ever. Appears to be chasing, and Ryukushin gets another one. That's gonna put LST in a tough spot here, T now. I mean, no more lives left for the Queen. Economy's, oh, one, one left. Oh, and they get it. Old Man just sneaks by. Just as I thought that Skuma might be making a comeback in this first game. LST pulls it out. Old Man Joe slips it in. And the worker giving the thumbs up. Congrats, LST. They take game number one. And I think that's how I'm going to refer to these. Even though there's like individual games within in a game. I think I'm just going to call a set 
of five. Call that game. Call number that one. game number one. I, I think that's. that's what I'm do. I think that's a fair way to go about it. Um, so game number one in the books goes to LST Keller Hayes here. Angry skooma noises. Yeah, you guys were close on the snail there, but LST working hard on the econ. You got to give skooma the skooma snail gang credit. I mean, we've seen them put a lot of pressure on the snail. They're living true to their name. You know, they're hyping it up. They're like, we're the skooma snail gang. We're going snail. I can't fault them for that, man. Of course, I'm. I'm a, I'm a fan of Skuma Beans, as you've been around for a while, know that already. But uh, we're getting ready to head into the second series here. So if LST does win this, they will be recording the very first Killer Queen Black victory in IGL history here. And they're gearing up. They're ready to rock. So we are ready to join them. Should be another one. Rube Danube in the chat hyped up at their games at 10 p.m. That's pretty awesome. We've got a Tier 1 match on the channel here at 10 can skooma mounts a bit of a comeback here time will tell be interesting to see and you know smash i was kind of interested to see how long these these games would take i think they, they go by pretty quick um i'd initially put like 45 minute slots because i didn't really know you know kind of tried to do it similar to rocket league but uh if this one if this one doesn't go to three it may be a real real quick one here but yeah, this is a this is our first circuit we're doing with Killer Queen Black, so we're just learning and trying to figure out what works best, and maybe we can fit more games into uh, into a night of streaming. We'll certainly find out. I don't know. I think Skuma can really pull off a game and uh, prevent LST from taking this in a best of three. Right now, though, LST putting the pressure on that economy, and wow, nice play just before he gets killed. But Ryukishin trying to recover. A kill there. No lives left for Skuma as they try to recover. Only one economy left. Nice block by Ryukishin. And Gornach is trying to mess with the Queen. And the Queen coming in. Zingor coming in. And shots from Drunk Cookies. Ryukishin in danger. And Old Man Joe pulls off the final berry. And they win on economy once again. They're going strong on the econ here. I'm going to need to see a little bit more uh, military from the Skuma Snail Gang. Maybe get a mace or a sword, depending on the level, to guard that hive because they are, uh, they're definitely having a hard time stopping these berry runners for LST Keller Hayes. This one's a pretty good uh, economic map, a map from my understanding, my limited understanding, I should say, because you can grab those berries and toss them down uh, onto, the, uh, onto the left there. Um, so, yeah. Let's see what they have to do here. We do see Ryukushin uh, making making a bit of a stop. Drum Cookies has the mace. Kill on the blue queen. Skuma Snail Gang have gotten more queen kills, but they've not been able to take that in and turn it into a definitive advantage yet as the economic game has just been a little too strong for LST Keller Hayes here as they're continuing to, uh, to try to make something happen. Almost a queen kill. We're pretty even on Econ this time. We see Wingman with the mace or the Morning Star um, doing a good job of guarding that hive. He's bumping Gornash around and Zingor is on to his last life. Drunk Cookie's trying to harass that right side of the map. We've got a uh, bit battle, battle of the hives here, I guess you could say. Drunk Cookie's with the ledge guarding on the right. Wingman with the edge guarding on the left here. Only two for LST. They're definitely looking to make something happen. Zingor just needs to play it safe. This is a pretty easy map to be able to uh, run around from your opponent. As we see them sneak another one in. Just one for LST. Phobos is loving drunk cookies here, killing it. Oh, and he bounces it in off the wall as the fans are cheering him on. Oh, nice shot from drunk cookies there. Phobos with the prime sub, the grand champ of our heart. Appreciate the support, man. Thanks for hanging out with us. And Gamer Teach coming in here, hyping it up, loving the first Killer Queen Black stream. All right, here we go. Another game coming at you in LST Prime in prime position to take the second game and give them a match point opportunity going into game number three. We see Wingman trying to upgrade. That gate did not flip for some reason. That was very odd. Hexa now trying to take a very into the net and into the nest, and he does. Ryukushin flying around trying to prevent uh, the economy. Uh, the economy win here as Wingman now jumps on the snail and moves that slowly towards their nets. Man, there's just so much stuff going on in Killer Queen Black. You really have to 
cast on all three win scenarios, which uh, makes it an interesting game and kind of why I like it, Tino. Yeah, it's really fun uh, to try to keep track of everything going on here as all Zingor with the clutch kill keeps himself alive. I like that uh, Skuma was going for it and they get it. Literally the best girl ever with the military kill here to keep the Skuma snail gang's hopes and dreams alive. Because this is match point to LST Keller Hayes here. They are up 1-0 in the series. And this is the second best of five here. If they do win this, it'll be game over. We're going to need to see some heavy econ guarding from the Snail Gang in this match because uh, last time LST Keller Hayes, I mean, they just took off on the economy on this level. And now Ryukashin trying to prevent that barrier from going in. Zingor looking, looking, Zingor trying to protect Drunk Cookies as he throws those berries, and I like that strategy. Gornash chasing down Hexa at the top, and he does get one, but can't get. Uh, wingman from putting that berry in. No one going for the snail. It's a little bit pushed towards the skuma side. Hexa does jump on it. It's as if he can hear me. Maybe he's listening to the stream. Jumps off as Zingor starts to pressure him. And economy going strong for LST. Only three berries needed. Four for skuma. Gonna be close on the economy side. Literally best girl ever thinking about pushing that snail. Grabs a berry instead. Zingor ultimately takes him to his death. And Zingor gets another one and a third in a row. Now Ryukushin edge guarding those two last berries. He's got to remember that you can go through the other side. Um, uh, you can go through the other side of the screen and sneak up on him. And it looks like Ryukushin down to one life. Drunk Cookies almost puts one in the net, but is stopped. And Ryukushin once again returns to edge guarding. The drag. The queen is uh, in the castle, Tina, and she does not look like she wants to leave. Drunk Cookies calling for help, and he tries to throw it in, but he misses. I, oh, and old man Joe gets the sniper shot. One left for Ryukushin, and he almost goes down again, but he takes down the sniper. Old man Joe rezzing Zingor, and Ryukushin going at it, and he gets him. Ryukushin surviving, taking Zingor down to one life. This is going to be close as Zingor is being aggressive, but no more lives for LST. What is going to happen? Only one left for Zingor. Are they going to do it? And no. LST takes it, takes oh. game number two. What an exciting matchup. LST and Skuma have been so close every single game, but LST just takes every time, Tino. Yeah, and particularly on that one, Ryukushin was living dangerously, got two kills on Zingor to even it up. We we're looking at two or we were looking at one berry apiece and then no lives on either of the queens absolutely insane ending to that one there was a uh, potential win conditions all across the board here uh maybe these guys want to play a third game for us because we got plenty of time i see them uh, readying up a bit i don't know if they're listening here as we get uh, oh a bunch of new subscribers there from davy rocket making all these uh making all these new people the grand champs of our hearts or i guess since we're in killer queen black mode they're the uh, obsidian queens of our hearts here thanks for that davy really appreciate that appreciate you gifting these subs uh give it up for davy rocket the legend in the chat here and uh, fun fact about davy my og teammate in indie right. gaming league he was uh my first he was my summer circuit 2018 teammate and my fall circuit 2018 teammate and then he left me for greener pastures but uh and they and all, he almost got a championship too the one i think uh, they finished third in that in a couple seasons after because you guys finished third we, we got second third. season yep. and then he did uh, yep, the season after right. too so uh we've got another <laughs> game here though they're playing another one uh so yeah so it is best of three so the series is officially over but this one just gonna be for fun giving you some more killer queen shout out to garwin 15 months grand champ of our hearts you'll love to see it thanks so much for the support man really appreciate that so yeah this one again just for fun lst keller hayes taking the very first on stream victory in this killer queen black winter circuit but uh, Skuma Snail Gangs, they've been right there, man. They've been close, and they're uh, they're doing pretty good on this one. Again, we see, like Smash, like you said, it's been so even between these teams. It's close on the Econ. It's close on the military. Drunk Cookies is trying to take advantage of that snail, but uh, Ryukushin puts a stop to that. Gamer Teach with the 251 bits. Definitely appreciate that, man. Thanks for the support. Make sure you catch Gamer Teach tomorrow for the Super Smash Bros. stream. It's going to be fun having him in the booth. And then he's going to be streaming on Thursday, too, one of our uh, community casters. And let's get back to this 
uh, Killer Queen Black match a s scrimmage here as the normal game has already ended. Drunk Cookie's trying to get that snare. Ryukushin about to stop that in its tracks, but a little bit of danger coming out of Zingor. Ryukushin trying to chase his, trying to chase Zingor back, but can't quite do it. And I like the agility. Ooh, and Ryukushin pulls it off against Zingor. Drunk Cookie's barely survives, <laughs> but does not get the match. Finally, Skuma takes a game. Uh, unfortunately, it's out of regulation, but hey, a win's a win, you know? A win's a win. They had one win in that second series there, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the only other one here um, for them. Maybe they can build a little bit of momentum, keep it rolling. Shout out to A Gold for the follow. I see Eric hit us with the follow earlier as well. Thanks for getting your shades, joining the IGL family. Good kill for Ryukushin. Got a bit of a military advantage here, but the berries are flowing <laughs> for the uh, for the LST Keller Hayes. But Ryukushin with another kill. Wingman just moving that snail across the map. He's getting close. Zingor is going to have to go in there and try to make a play, and he does make it happen. Ryukushin's chasing him. Oh, he didn't go for the dive there. I thought he was going to try to get the kill. Drunk Cookies with the sacrifice. But uh, Zingor breaks that up. Snail on the edge, but two... Uh, well, it doesn't matter anymore. I was going to say only two berries needed for LST Keller Hayes, but Ryukushin throwing up the hat trick here, getting the second win. And what's going on? Ryukushin just needed a little bit of warm-up, I guess, because LST's falling down after uh, they... I guess they take the win and they're done. They don't care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the victories for LST. Um, no, I'm just messing around, but Skuma taking two games in this first match as Hexa jumps on the snail early, tries to push that forward. And I personally really like the strategy of moving the snail uh, and pushing that snail and pulling the queen out. Because if that snail is threatening you the entire game, it's really hard to focus on military or economy. Um, so if you can pressure snail really early on, that could be a pretty good strategy for you. But as we see here, that's not really working in LST world as they are blocking that snail left and right. And now, Skuma is weak on economy. LST looking to finish that early. Big shot coming out by Old Man Joe. Wingman trying to dodge. He does so successfully a few times, and he's continuing to do so. Old Man Joe with another miss, but he's got that shield. And now Wingman trying to move it over, and finally he gets the kill. One berry needed for uh, LST, and they're about to get it. Drug Cookie's waiting towards the very end. He waiting. Wants, he wants the family portrait. Oh, he wants the family portrait. They're waiting for it, but he ends up finishing it. And oh, no, but he didn't get in there in time, and <laughs> Ryukushin gets the kill. Ryukushin. The taunting and the uh, waiting for the victory was not making it happen as Ryukushin comes in there getting another kill. What a play at the end there. Of course, that one uh, that one just a fun <laughs> one. Bzax loving it in the chat. And yeah, these uh, these games go really quick. Maybe they'll just keep playing for us. We honestly, bad for we probably could have game. done best of five matches, honestly. Yeah, probably. I guess I was kind of expecting them to take like a little bit longer with like getting people set up and all that stuff. And yeah, we learn. Oh, stream paused. They've had enough. They couldn't. <laughs> they can't take it after after losing that one anymore. Couldn't couldn't handle the pressure there. Um, tried to get the port. Yeah, I know. Trying to go for the portrait there. 